Zbelzy commentary and, and plan. Hello, YouTube. Yeah, Spazzy coming right at you with another commentary. Today we're playing Aatrox, obviously, the new champion of death. Uh, Rune Masteries. Flat 80 marks quints, magic resist glyphs, and armor seals. Uh, I rock a mastery page. I think it's 921-0 here. Um, focusing on a lot of the defense, defensive uh, uh, things for Aatrox. Now you can really go 21-9-0. I do prefer that though after experimenting a little bit on jungle Aatrox. A Aatrox. A a a Aatrox. Never mind. Uh, but 9-21-0 is what I'm rocking right here versus a set. I picked this game because I finally got a game where I wasn't up against another uh, Aatrox and we didn't suck. So... Uh, What's there to say about this champion? First off, it's gonna be some some nice uh, freaking. Uh, I'm gonna have to flash here because I used my Q, which is my only utility spell, um, and I didn't want to get knocked out because that would uh, definitely set me up for a kill, even though if I would have flashed. Uh, so that's why I flashed early. So that was actually well played, even though I derped a little bit. I should have expected a level 2 gank, but now I know that he started red. Here comes Wee Winga, uh, level 3 and double buff, uh, looking to do something, uh, probably easing, easing up the pressure here in the lane so I can farm a little bit, get another level. Pick up my W uh, and start regening like a madman. Uh, almost reaching full stacks here on my passive, which is going to get me a lot of attack speed, which is the crazy thing about Aatrox. We'll get into all of that in the, in the later of, bit of the commentary. Get yourself a get drink, guys, because I've got myself a cup of coffee and I really can't talk and we're only like a minute in. That's great. Mm. We win, guys, here. I want to get another minion here to get level 3, but we go in anyways. I should have waited a little bit, there was no rush. I used a blind Q because I saw Zed use his W there, I think it's the W. And then I activate W to do extra damage with my auto attacks. I take a turret shot here, which which was not optimal. There Aatrox is gonna come in, miss his Q, great stuff. Uh, I'm letting people know here that we should definitely turn on Zed. He used his elixir already, I do have Ignite. And he oversteps, I don't even have to use Q here, I just freaking... He, he flashes out of it, but he still takes too much damage. A bit overextended on his part. I level up E, use it, the slow is on. Uh, Pete Wood flashes after him, uh, uses his Q, and it's, it connects. His passive is going to pop. I have activated my W for more damage, and the red buff is going to be enough to finish it off. So that was a nice uh, bit of action there in the top lane, and we came out ahead. Uh, main mistake here was on their Zed's part, um, overextending. Not realizing the burst potential of both my Q, Lee Sin's Q, and the Ignite and everything. Uh, he's coming back to lane now, I'm just pushing out, and I got enough money for my Cutlass. I am going to build the Dirt Blade in this scenario. Um, when I've been up against other Aatroxes, I've usually just gone for like Warden's Mail, because it's a great counter versus him, because it reduces his attack speed, and attack speed is key on Aatrox, because he does regen a lot, and he does get natural sustain from that W with the attack speed. And uh, yeah, that's just what I've gone. But if you're not against that, and if you get uh, ahead a little bit, Dirt Plate is definitely the way to go. The mistake I do here is I get too confident, I don't really care, I don't really mind about his poke, and that, you know, sets me off to sort of like a bad lane where I should have the dominance. I am instead now low, and he's able to zone me. The thing about Aatrox, if you do get low and cannot go into minion range, i.e. if you're zoned, uh, you are gonna have a big problem regening that health. But if you do, if you are in minion range, like for instance, here I go for wolves instead. Look at that, I'm almost almost full HP again. And I think it's the regen part that a lot of people are whining about Aatrox with. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything if he's underpowered, overpowered. I think he's a really strong pick because he's freaking hard carry on there, there on the top lane. Gonna activate my ultimate here, go in on Zed. Uh, he does the mistake of going all in on me, uh, which is, I mean, he could have gotten away, I think. I don't know if he had his W up or not, maybe that's why I went in. But I had my passive up, like you see there, and um, that's if, you, if you're fighting against an Aatrox, just look at his bar underneath his health. If it's red, you know that he'll respawn uh, after he dies, and if it's white, then yeah, fine, you can kill him. So a mistake there on Zed's part to go in on me. I'm not going to talk about if he's underpowered or overpowered, uh, because he's just released. I played like, what, 10 games with it or something? Um, and uh, yeah, going for the red here because I know that Aatrox uh, started that red. A bit scared though, since mid is missing, I am backing out. It's rather safe than sorry, leaving that red. But since Brand is coming towards me, I'm going to go in there. And look at this. I could have gotten it with an auto attack right there. Or an E, or a Q, or anything. But this Aatrox decides to go for me, which is a mistake. His, his bar underneath there is white. That's why we go for him. The passive is not up, so we kill him. Great stuff, great stuff. Brand gets the red though. Not optimal, but what the hell. Uh, going back here for a ninja tabby and attack speed, building that turret blade. 
Uh, third time then is the charm. <laughs> Not gonna actually. I need to talk about this. This is freaking epic. Zed goes all in on this uh, Lee Sin, and look at that, Soraka heal, gonna save his butthole. I'm gonna flash in, and I thought I'd be in range with my Cutlass, and that he didn't have his W on cooldown. That's why I flashed. I thought I would be able to catch up with him. My Q was on cooldown because I used that to get to lane quicker. So a bit of a waste of flash on my part. A bit of a bla bad play there. Um, yeah, so I'm not gonna talk about him being overpowered or underpowered. I say it's a very strong pick. Uh, he might get tuned in, in little ways, but right, right now it's way too early to tell. I seldom say anything about new champions the first couple of days because, I mean, honestly, for me, I, just the fact that I've played mainly against other Aatroxes is just a, a mere reason for me to not say anything about the champion in general. Because I don't have the experience to say anything. And you could listen to the pros if they played uh, played him more or something like that, and that's fine. But I generally think that you shouldn't be too quick on judging champions when they come out. Yes, he's a very strong pick, uh, but let's see where he goes. He could be overpowered, he could be just right. Um, when people find a better way of countering him, um, uh, he probably won't be as powerful anymore. Like for instance, I see people a lot when I've, I've spectated some games and I've seen people playing against Aatroxes without Warden's Mail and that's just plain down, darn stupid. I mean, yeah, some champions are not good uh, with Warden's Mail on, but if you just get that first, uh, you know, component, it really shuts him down damage-wise and it's, it really is a great pick. Um, I seldom l l lost the lane against other Aatroxes just because I freaking built that item. Uh, but yeah, this game so far, I am pretty much ahead. I go all in on this freaking Zed again. I do have my passive up. I have everything up. I have Ignite. I have my Cutlass. Uh, so he's just gonna fall to my superior damage. And uh, he should be playing way more carefully because I am I am ahead and he should know this. Uh, two arrows coming up top lane. Which one is which? No one knows. But hey, that's the fun. <laughs> but yeah, this Zed is playing a bit too ballsy. Uh, Zed has an e uh, not an easy time, but Zed can actually farm decently on range with his Qs and everything. But this Zed doesn't play carefully, even though I'm ahead. Uh, here I go for the red yet again, because I want to contest it every time it's up. Um, I notice that he goes in on me, that's why I activate my W for more damage and I get the red. And he used Qs, I used my Q to get away. So just a simple red seal there, which is really great. Setting that Aatrox behind a little bit. And red is great on Aatrox in top lane. Uh, keeping the target spin down with the slow. Uh, is gonna just let me be even more dominant. So I got my dirt plate, I've got a chain vest, I am gonna build that into a sunfire cape, I think. Uh, should probably have gone wardens uh, in this game. I think so, yeah, against Ash and stuff. Yeah, it would have worked. Uh, beautiful thing is if you have dirt plate and you're full HP, uh, you can have your W activated for damage at all times and push really quickly, which is a nice thing. Uh, Zed is heading mid, so I'm just gonna push out this turret. The second turret is gonna be mine to take, so that's great. Um, in other news, uh, thanks for all the nice freaking comments and, and the support on the 150k video, guys. I did spend a lot of time making that song with Rumi and Voodoo Sela, most importantly. And uh, it's just great fun to see that you guys enjoyed it and that you sh you're sharing it and you're, you know, sending the love and you're playing it over and over again. I really, you know, it really warms my heart to see. Uh, here I am obviously overextended and I'm actually going to lag out here. Uh, I want to go for this blitz and I think I could have killed him, but I lag out and I can't move and then derp. So thank you so much for sharing it and, and helping me out and, and sending me nice comments and, and everything, guys. I really appreciate it. Even though I'm not able to answer all those insane amount of comments that you guys sent, I, I do read a lot of them and I am super grateful for everything. Uh, I think as well this morning I saw that it was um, it was actually on the first mostly played uh, list of the what what is it called like replay YouTube videos website where people like mostly put in songs that they want to hear <laughs> over and over again. It was actually on first place there, and that's really flattering, guys. And uh, yeah, I'll make more songs in the future. But as you guys know, I'm, I'm I make those uh, every now and again, and uh, the rest of the normal content is going to be there for your enjoyment. Uh, what else is on the news? <laughs> I. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry I couldn't make it to DreamHack, guys. Uh, I am definitely going to make it to Winter DreamHack. I, I'm, I can almost guarantee it. I really want to go because I love to meet you guys and, and I love to, you know, uh, attend that event because it's awesome. Here I do a great mistake. I go in on Vladimir even though my ult is not up yet. Uh, if I would have had the ult, it would have been a different story. I don't use my Dirt Blade and I don't use my abilities and I don't auto-attack when he's pulled. I should have auto-attacked the minions to regen health and uh, yeah. Really just uh, not playing Aatrox uh, well there at all. Should I wait for my ult and stuff? Uh, Ash is gonna be get pwned by the other Ash. 
Uh, however, our uh, Brand is coming in and he has a lot of damage. So he's going to use his ultimate there. He's going to bounce around. He's going to do a lot of damage. And he's going to juke that said nicely, hitting the stun. Grandpa playing really well here with Brand and picking up a triple kill. And I do think even that they push onwards and they pick up the Vladimir under the turret there. So that's great. I hope you guys are having a blasty blast if you're at uh, DreamHack right now. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm getting comfortable here, all set up in Stockholm. I've, I've been able to stream uh, yesterday and the day before that. Uh, and that was great. It was great fun. A lot of you guys tuned in and uh, uh, it, it was awesome. I mean, I missed streaming. <laughs> I haven't streamed in like several weeks and, and uh, yeah, it's, I've, I've missed it. So thanks for tuning in, guys, and, and thanks for being awesome. Uh, this was this turned out to be li a little bit of a, a thank you video, I guess. I don't know. Uh, what else? I don't think there's much else. We're we're freaking dominating this game. I'm going mid after killing Zed yet again. Um, going in on this Aatrox, and um, his passive is gonna pop. I know my team can clean up, so I'm gonna go for Ash. I'm gonna flash, use Q, uh, use ultimate, uh, toggle W for damage, and go in and pawn. Peepwood claiming it. He's gonna do some nice kill steals in this game, man. It's crazy. Another clutch Soraka heal on Ash there before the Vladimir ultimates pops. I mean, Soraka ultimates can be really, really. I mean. It's so great to see a nice save. It's just so freaking. You, you, it's just in my pants moments, you know. Fist just pants moment stuff. Uh, Vladimir is definitely dead here. Not really looking sharp for him. Grandpa picks up the kill. Push out bottom. And uh, we see the wild blitz in the jungle. Uh, we're gonna try and catch him. We gotta catch them all. And I should have expected a flash here and not use my Q. Uh, but he did a good flash and he uh, goes around the the uh, edge here. But he actually stays so we can pick up the kill uh, on him. Using everything, bursting him down. Pete would picking up the kill. Good job, sir. Good job. Uh, get out of there. And Zed is going <laughs> to go down to a freaking CC combo. And Pete would secure us with the Q. You bastard, I hate you so much. <laughs> but this is actually going to be game right here, guys. They surrender. After these couple of uh, champion kills that are up ahead. Uh, last word on Aatrox. Yeah, that's right. Uh, pick him up and try him out. Uh, definitely do it. He might get tuned either up or down. I'm not going to say anything. But I think he's fun to play. He's sort of like a Chundamir-ish type of pick. And if you enjoy that, then pick him up definitely. Feel free to like this video if you did enjoy it. Uh, add it to your favorites. Shout out to Twitter. And if this is the first video of me you're watching, guys, make sure you subscribe and check out my other videos. And I'll see you guys next time. This has been Spazzy. And I am out. Dudes!